This metal grows rainbow crystals, and it expands when it freezes. Meet bismuth, one of nature's weirdest elements. Bismuth, symbol BI, atomic number 83, is a heavy post-transition metal with a faint pink tint. It melts around 271 degrees Celsius. When molten bismuth cools, it often does something most metals do not. It expands and forms hollow stepped hopper crystals. Those hopper shapes appear because bismuth grows faster at the edges than on the flat faces. The outer frame forms first, leaving the center to fill in later. That's what makes those geometric stair steps. The brilliant rainbow colors are not paint. A thin oxide film forms on the surface and light waves interfere with that film, the same physics behind soap bubbles and oil slicks, producing shifting spectral bands. Bismuth is also unusually diamagnetic for a metal. Over a very strong magnet it can be weakly repelled, a dramatic demo of magnetic repulsion and a neat classroom trick. At the electronic level bismuth behaves like a semi-metal with very few free charge carriers. That low carrier density gives it long electron mean free paths, and unusual electrical responses such as large magnetoresistance, properties researchers exploit in sensors and experiments. Despite being heavy, bismuth is far less toxic than lead or mercury. That relative safety explains its role in low-melting alloys, some lead-free solders and even medicinal compounds like bismuth subsalicylate. Yes, you can grow small bismuth crystals at home by carefully melting and slowly cooling the metal but beware. High temperatures, fumes and molten metal are dangerous. Use proper PPE, ventilation and a tested procedure. Here's the twist. A heavy metal that freezes into rainbow hollow crystals can be levitated above magnets and still serves as a practical low-toxicity material. Strange, useful, and beautiful.